वेर इज बुरहान वानी वो तो बड़ी हेल्स बुरहान वानी है ये है कौन है उसको तो नाइनटीन आर ने ठोक दिया पकड़ के अकेडमी आई वॉज वेरी हैवी एंड सो आई लैंडेड अप इन दी अकेडमी एंड आई लॉन्ग हेयर एंड यू नो आई आई थॉट इन माई ओन माइंड दैट आई लुक लाइक अ रॉक स्टार सो पहले तो मुझे पहले तो मुझे गंजा कर दिया है ना वेरी शॉक दैट आई क्वाइट नाइस है यू नो Everything disappeared, and then I was wearing those uh, clip-on uh, earrings. You know, they took them off and they threw threw them somewhere. And and uh, 1993, I joined uh, the academy, and uh, horrible, yeah, horrible. I mean, it's uh, they just uh, they would start early in the morning, and they would go on late in night. And uh, at night, when you thought that finally you would get four five hours of rest, your seniors would take over, and they, they would make absolute monkeys out of you for two three hours at night. I was always in that because of because of the lack of salt in the body, because in that's what happens when there is too much of urine. Salt goes down, so I had hematuria, in which uh, in which uh, you know you start urinating blood, and then suddenly in the academy, the first thing I realized that uh, you know uh, they don't care from where you have come; they they care where you're going. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so no introduction to Major Gaurav Arya, as all of us know, sir and uh, sir has been, you know, a a fanboy moment for me, of course, and I'm sure all of you. So, sir, so thank you so much, sir. You have been doing great, thank sir. Thank you. And all thank of you, you very much. all of us in the veteran fraternity look up to you, and uh, so it's thank a compliment from the entire veteran community, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. I won't take much time off yours also, sir, because I know your schedule would be very, very busy. So yes. yeah. So basically, there is a YouTube channel which I run for the defense aspirants in my spare time, so that we give a perspective of uh, life uh, in the defense and post that, so that uh, you know, so a lot of them benefits from this. Sir. So this channel reaches to Himachal Pradesh, to Kerala, to everywhere, sir. So okay. This, that is what the idea, sir. So first, uh, my first question, sir. Again, uh, like I ask everyone, uh, you know, I, I read uh, about you and I did a research. Then I, uh, you know, facilitated that research. So uh, you always wanted to join NDA, sir, uh, and then uh, you know, uh, somehow parents, and then you went to uh, did your degree from Saint Stephen's, and thereafter you joined CDA, sir. So, uh, so was there was there this thought of joining the Forge Palace, sir? हाँ थोड़ा सा बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम यू नो माई फादर वॉज ड्यूरिंग द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ माई स्कूल लाइफ माई फादर वॉज इन द बी एस एफ अकेडमी देर इज अ बी एस एफ अकेडमी इन अ प्लेस कॉल टेकनपुर विच इज अड ऑफ ग्वालियर थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर्स आई हेफ तो ही वॉज देर ही वॉज पोस्ट देर एंड एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू ज्वाइन द यूनिफॉर्म फोर्सेज एंड दे वॉज दैट पियर थिंग ऑल्सो यू नो कि फौज में जाना है ऐसा कुछ था नहीं बट इनिशियली आई वॉज इनिशियली आई वॉज uh not sure what i wanted to do because i was still very young but uh you know then then this entire thing uh, happened that you know you must go to nda so i i gave the nda exam and uh, uh i don't know whether i gave it half heartedly but i couldn't get through so i said that's okay i i can still get to i can still get to forge and uh, so i went to college and after college i i i prepared and i got through ssb uh, in my second attempt i got i got through ssb first was elabad which was a washout everybody went home so uh, which which is what elabad is famous for but yeah. uh, then uh, then uh, then uh, we we sort of my uh, I, i went to bhopal and i got through bhopal and that's how i joined ota of the string academy that's it how was the parents reaction sir when uh, you finally made it to the uh, you know armed forces no 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 they they, they were very happy because they, they thought that this guy is a complete nalay you know uska kahi nahi hoga to chalo at least uh, and more than more than just a job you know they were not concerned about the job because everybody manages to earn in life they thought that he's going to a good place where they will give him some sort of direction because uh, i was a very willful uh, young man even at that age and uh, uh, you know while uh, you know they, they said that uh, something additional is required to give this guy direction in life otherwise he'll go haywire and that happened at ota and they gave me direction in the typical forgy style which is very painful but uh, <laughs> st- still we got direction of some, some kind i think one of your postmate i know her uh, ankita shivastav sir ankita yes yes. So, yes 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 she's a dear friend uh-huh. so yes ankita so ankita ankit, ankit, no 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 very very kind of her and ankita is a published author 
and uh, hugely talented and uh, ankita is my coachmate yes so how uh, uh, this question is especially from the aspirants point of view a lot of defense aspirants how tough or easy was for you to prepare for the ssb and that entire entire jhumla of uh, you know interview and uh, return exams and all such so any any specific I, uh, no actually actually yaar, i didn't i didn't prepare for it because uh, uh, I, i i just I just said that I'm going to go there, and because I knew one thing, I had understood that this is a personality test. It's an attitude test. A lot of people prepared, uh, you know, for SSB and still prepared for for SSB by you know getting overtly physical. Physically fit, they'll make you in the academy. Right. Right. The, the academy, they'll turn you into a horse. That's okay. So that's what they do for a living. That's not very difficult for them. It might be difficult for us, but not for them. And the instructors, they'll do it. Uh, I, I said, I'm going to be truthful about it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to fake my responses. I'm going to tell the truth, and uh, let's see where this takes me. And uh, I, I did prepare a little bit. I read up on various things. There was this book. I don't know whether they still have it. Manorama. Ah, true. Yeah. So, so I, I, I read Manorama a little bit, and. Uh, you know i prepared i read the newspapers so during my time there was no social media and there was no access of news on because there were no mobile phones also uh, during our time so uh, uh, this is this is how it happened and then i went uh, with a prayer in my heart i went and they announced my chest number us time pe aise hota tha they would announce your chest number that you got through and suddenly it was done and it happened yeah that, that, that's how it happened yes. but then uh, first time uh, jab aap alabad gaye the sir so uh, how was that feeling of And not uh, making it or wash out while I just seen that for us. It was like a holiday which the government was paying for. No, they paid for our tickets and we went there and all of us were in this big tent and it was a lot of fun and I made some friends and it, it was a picnic. We were pretty happy go lucky. But as I said, yeah, you know, you're going for a SSB and career will become a force. I'll become a core commander. I'll become a. 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 I'll you know uh one day i want to command my unit so no no i want to become a core commander i said cut i think you know joe should say that ye sab mat bolna you see uh, so uh, it's like so i didn't have a, i didn't even know uh, i didn't know uh, it was because nobody from my from my family was in the army my 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 father was uh, uh, a policeman he was from the ips and uh, my mother was a homemaker and none of our relatives were in the forge so i, I had no idea about the forge Uh, so uh, elabad uh, was a happier memory because uh, you know we we just we just had fun in elabad and we failed which is okay but we had a lot of fun in elabad and then uh, again i tried and again i got through and then uh, you know went to went to uh, bhopal and this time we cracked bhopal and uh, then got the letter that you know you 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 have to join the officers training academy so i joined So SSB में सर एक कोई ऐसे सवाल या something which you thought uh, had uh, nailed me करके ये ये सवाल के वजह से मैं अंदर पहुंच गया था इस होता है ना सर all of us have gone through that so I'm sure कुछ तो होगा सर though I'm taking you very back in your memory still हाँ मुझे मुझे याद नहीं है but uh, I, I don't know but this time I said you know in 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 uh, in Ilava that made it very complicated so I was trying to speak about this and that I said नहीं जाने यार they want to see a truthful you they, they don't want to see a complicated or a sophisticated you or they don't want to see a you know a fake you what they want to see is a real you in the army and because because uh, in, in but what the army navy or the air force will ultimately prepare you for is battle yeah and uh, it's a, essentially uh, i i i spoke to uh, an ex army officer is a veteran at that point in time and uh, i i met him in delhi and he said that you know son uh they are preparing you for war even the day they are selecting you in the ssb that is what is at the back of their mind whether it's the army navy or the air force that is what they are thinking at the back of their mind that one day when this youngster becomes an officer and when there is a war he will be required to lead men into battle and that is the framework in which they are selecting they are not just selecting you for a government job they are trying to select a leader and what what comprises of a leader so he told me a few things which i remember which i uh, with your permission like to repeat here and yes, uh, he 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 said that here uh, they're looking for integrity they're looking for brotherhood 
they are looking for team spirit they they are they are looking for a person who can lead by example a person if he commits a mistake he can step up and say that so you know i messed up you know it's it's my fault a person who can take care of his team they are looking for these things uh, don't try to you know show that you are supremely physically fit or don't try to say that you are super intelligent because uh, and he told me one thing which i remember uh, till this date that uh, he says the 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 armed forces selection is uh, is different from any other selection in the country because they are not looking for the best person they are looking for the right person and there is a difference between the best person and the right person the right person too because best you can quantify you can say that okay uh, this is a physical test and this guy is a national level athlete so by all by all logic he should be the first one getting through because he's come first or or a person from the iit he's cracked every possible exam the toughest possible exam in the country is cracked he's he's been through iit so he should be but that's not true no you you don't get in just because you're from the iit or you don't get in just because you're a national level athlete there is much much more they're looking for the right kind of person they're looking they're looking for their dna uh, and uh, there are many people who are very highly qualified who don't get in and then they have this problem that you know uh, you know we were so good and we we got these many marks in graduation and we were from this engineering college and we were toppers and gold medalists and you know there must be some flaw in the selection of the armed forces yeah matlab i would have been such a wonderful asset you know to the navy and i would have become an admiral or something something they have in their mind i don't know what but uh, that that's not how the forge thinks na the forge thinks differently so that that's what i that's what i understood from that uh, senior officer's uh, words and i said that uh, smart me banna be natural be yourself because if you try to outsmart them they will figure out if not on the first day on the third day they will figure out and when they figure out they'll reject you you can't fool the forge so that is how i got through i just i said okay this is me yeah and i am trying to present the best version of myself and and i leave it to your good offices aap matlab you have to decide for me so please decide and this is me and they selected me in fact sir kafi log you know they try again and again and again for the snc and we know like unke dil mein hota hai ki kahin na kahin we will make and there are people who have made it after and attempts also like uh, colonel ashtu sharma was there uh, and don't pick up an icon himself so uh, any yeah. thoughts on that sir ki kahin pe rukna chahiye ya uh, ya jab tak umr nahi hota ya attempt jab tak de sakte hain to tab tak de sakte hain any thought on that sir bhai yaar i i i don't think there is anything because uh, i'll tell you uh, ye jo typical fauji aspirants hote hain na defense aspirants 90% of them they are the jununi types there is no logic uh, you, you join forge because of, they want to join forge because they love the forge okay. and and in love there is no logic okay, i will give three attempts and then i will stop and they keep on doing it because that is what they wish to do and i i think it's a beautiful thing i think it's a beautiful thing because uh, you see uh, it, it's not that one day you will succeed and do it it's it just i think it's an expression of love you mentioned the colonel sahab who got through after 10 attempts i think it's simply an expression of love for the uniform and love for the ethos and dna of the armed forces where you know people keep on and it's not that these people uh, are not uh, some, somebody is telling me about uh, dr kalam uh, he couldn't get through ssb he became the president of india so it's there are a lot of people and maybe you are uh, and just because you fail ssb or you couldn't get into the forge does not mean you are any lesser of a person i mean uh, you 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 could you could become the president of india like dr kalam did so uh, who who knows who knows uh, but uh, uh, i i think it's this love affair with the forge which a lot of people have and they keep on going back wo hota hai and it, it's a beautiful thing it's a very sweet thing i think it's a very it's a very pure thing to happen a very true sir i think wo jo wo jo junoon hota hai na i think we have two or three aspirants also here they are hardcore and wo ban ban bhi jayenge sir that's why that's why i yeah. invited them to hear you so uh, so jun i mean it's a good beautiful perspective sir love ka koi logic nahi hota na to i ah. think uh, that's a very beautiful thing you said yeah even amitabh bachchan i heard sir he, he had also attempted ssb long back and then he said that be clear nahi hua ha bo hota hai there are people who go there and uh, you know they do it and usme uh, bhi 
you know okay i've been through five times and people look up to that batch ye panch baar rakha hai you know so it's it's uh, it's it's good yeah it's good i i think it's i think it's very beautiful and uh, uh, this is what separates uh, the armed forces from other jobs because it's not a job at all yeah it's it's just a it's just a li- life you're living and the kind of brotherhood and camaraderie and the kind of knowledge you gain from your seniors and from your instructors and uh, the kind of brotherhood you have the sense of safety the sense of well being uh, this entire thing you know that comprises of the forge and i just want to tell all the defense aspirants who are out there who are listening yeah, that uh, you know uh, essentially you make bonds in the forge that will uh, last for a lifetime and there are some things which are given even if you don't know the person even if you don't know the person even if you're me- meeting him for the first time or his wife for the first time and you go to their house if you have some work you can leave your wife and kids at their place and come back after a few hours and be rest assured that they'll be absolutely safe and will be looked after as if they were part of that officer's own family so uh, it's you know a lot of people think that it's about the weapon systems it's about uh, the lovely cantonments or you know the naval bases or the air force bases and uh, it's about the entire glamour that that's not true actually to my mind to my limited understanding uh, i think it's more to do with the dna of the armed forces yeah. it's more to do with the dna of the army navy and the air force it's it's about who we are as a people and what do we stand for i think that sets us apart baki to hathiyar to paise se bhi koi khareed leta yaar you have money you can buy any amount of weapons yeah in the world but that does not give you that regimental ethos that does not give you that sense of brotherhood which uh, you know ha uh, so once once you wear the uniform uh, you know you know uh, who you are you know who the other person is and uh, you know what he stands for and uh, there are some things you know obviously people will be different okay this is not to say that people in the army navy and air force are uh, you know uh, similar or absolutely the same uh, they are human beings and they tend to be different each will be different from the other but there are certain minimum guarantees if i may call them if i may call them that there are certain minimum guarantees you get uh, when you speak to an officer you'll know that he's telling the truth you know that he's not going to lie to you he's not going to cheat you know he's going to be upright right uh, but there, there might be a guy who will be very happy and there might be another guy with a short fuse you get all kinds in the forge but uh, there are some basics that are given for granted ki ha yaar fauji ya danka hoga itna to hoga hi iska so i think that is what people uh, look forward to exactly sir exactly and uh, to all those who will be listening this uh, that's what the community is all about the fauji community you know like uh main sir se kabhi nahi mila i am all I, i was always following him on youtube and this thing so the comfort level jab sir se pehle baat kiya to wo tha ki hichkichana ki sir sir is so you know sir kahan par hai and how will i but then uh, you know the comfort he gave in that 10 minutes or 15 minutes aise lag raha hai ki apna hi koi senior officer se baat ho rahi hai so that's the beauty of us sir that's the beauty of our training of across yes. so that yes. is out there sir so how was how was uh, cadet uh, उटेंड in between i partied like i don't know what yeah. so i ate everything and i had i don't know crates full of beer and i had butter chicken and all that whatever sinful things are available in delhi so uh, i put on a lot of weight yeah. i uh, i put on an enormous amount of weight and uh, when i when i went to the academy i was very heavy and uh, so i landed up in the academy and uh, i had long hair and uh, you know I, i i thought in my own mind that i looked like a rock star so pehle to mujhe pehle to mujhe ganja kar diya you know there shook so everything went away and i was very shocked that i had quite nice hair you know i mean everything disappeared and then i was wearing those uh, clip on uh, earrings you know they took them off and they threw threw them somewhere and and so and fir wo yaar wo shorts pehna diya banyan pehna diya i felt very weird because i said this is not dress yeah and uh, then they just i my 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 father was a very senior government officer and i had that chip on my shoulder i didn't realize that you know uh, father ne jo apne life mein izzat kamai hai that is not mine that is his 
एंड लाइक एनी यू नो जनरली इन इंडिया होता है ना कि आई वॉज इन स्पॉइल्ट एज सच बट येस आई हैड दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट माई फादर इज वेरी सीनियर एंड यू नो एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम एन आई जॉइन दी अकेडमी ही वॉज वॉट यू वुड कॉल इन दी आर्मी एंड थ्री स्टार जनरल ही वॉज इन द पुलिस बट ही वॉज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ आई टी बी पी एट दैट टाइम एन ई जॉइंट ही वॉज डी जी आई टी बी पी एंड यू नो आईड ऑलवेज एंड बिफोर दैट ही वॉज डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पुलिस मध्य प्रदेश तो आई हेड ऑलवेज दिस यू नो ह्यूज हाउस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड यू नो एंड गार्ड देयर एंड सिक्योरिटी देयर एंड यू नो एवरीथिंग दैट होल तामजाम दैट गोज विथ एंड देन सडनली इन द अकेडमी द फर्स्ट थिंग आई रियलाइज दैट यू नो they don't care from where you have come they they care where you're going yeah and they'll make sure that you get there and uh, so this entire process of you know getting physically fit and mentally alert this kicked in and uh, chennai has got terrible weather yaar at that time it was madras no at our time it was it used to be madras and uh, 1993 i joined uh, the academy and uh, horrible yeah horrible i mean it's uh, they just uh, they would start early in the morning and they would go on late in night and uh, at night when you thought that finally you would get 4 5 hours of rest your seniors would take over and they, they would make absolute monkeys out of you for 2 3 hours at night and uh, there, there were times when i thought that i will quit the academy i i just wanted to leave because i i could not cope with it there was this uh, you know uh, i was always in that because of because of the lack of salt in the body because in that's what happens when there is too much of humidity salt goes down so i had hematuria in which uh, in which uh, you know you start urinating blood at hematuria and uh, and there was this sense of dizziness and confusion what's going on what's going on uh, small little memory lapses because uh, i i was not used to maine to kabhi i had never even uh, you know picked up a glass of water from the kitchen in my life i don't remember i never there was always somebody pani pilao somebody would get water i don't know the name of that somebody it was in the academy that they said that no we'll make a man out of you and there they started and uh, when i wanted to after one month i said i've had enough i'm going it was my you know i had these uh, very wonderful course mates here who helped me and all the uh, those uh, uh, those uh, bali yaar uh, colonel as bali he's now a serving colonel in the army he commanded 10 sikh life bali helped me a lot there was uh, colonel ap sena he is from the bihar regiment he is now posted in danapuria he is serving uh, sena helped me a lot uh, and uh, there was uh, uh, arnab chakravarty he is left he is working at a senior position in a corporate in in calcutta so arnab chakravarty he helped me and uh, there was ajit chauhan my buddy he helped all these people you know when you have those bpts and that race backs and when you are running in that sweltering chennai heat you know you want to give up so there's somebody holding your shoulder somebody lifting your bag somebody lifting your rifle and say bhag hamare sath bhag 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 go and you somehow completed because everybody is running at that point in time because ota training is relentless it's it's relentless it's like you don't get time to think you don't get uh, you know only yesterday somebody is saying oh you trained in chennai you must have had lovely south indian food you know wow you would have had idli and dosa every day sambar i said what idli those i don't even remember what i ate you know lovely south indian food is when you are sitting at home or sitting with friends <laughs> there, there is nothing lovely about oti because they would just black in the morning and everybody is running like horses and it's crazy and in the first term the senior said we were all issued with a bike you were on the cycle and the senior said that you know in the first term you are not on the cycle the cycle is on you so half the time you are carrying that bloody cycle and running yeah mother it's it's a pain and getting late for classes then you doing front row then you know legs on the wall and echo order every time in the peak of you know the afternoon at 3 o'clock when other uh, gentlemen cadets would be getting that obligatory 2 hours rest or 1 hour rest because it's too hot to train we would be there in the heckle order you know with the turra at the drill square with the ustads making us do front rolls and crawling here in the drill square so this is how academy passed but thank god for these four uh, friends uh, that i that i mentioned there yeah, they were they were responsible bali and all bali sena chakku chakravarti anurag chakravarti they they helped me a lot yaar without them i could not have got to inke chakkar mein to main pass ho gaya अकेडमी में ना हर एक कोर्स का या हर एक इंडिविजुअल का कुछ ना कुछ एक पर्टिकुलर याद होता है कि कहीं ना कहीं पंगा किया होगा ऐसा कोई नहीं होगा कि जो नहीं किया होगा वी हैव वी आल्सो हैव मेजर समर टूर ऑन दिस समर इज अगेन फ्रॉम ओटीए विद ही वाज वेरी 
prominent in uh, uh, you know uh, evacuating a lot of students from ukraine sir uh, during okay. this time so summer is also part of this so, okay and you can you can uh, ask summer which company is he from sir so sir I, i was from kohima company sir kohima hima hima good yes sir okay sir. i'm from jisami yeah Madhu, yes, sir, just, yes sir yes same battalion sir S- same battalion rs rs battalion yes sir uh, yes. Uh, which which course sir i am ss 92 sir 2011 pass out nahi budda hu yahan pe aur koi budda nahi really old man here yeah. i retired I, i retired last october so i attended one of your seminars which you had taken in chandi mandir so i had asked you a question then regarding uavs Achha. and everything acha 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 all right all right Western command, na? Huh? I'd come there. Yes, sir. When you advise them that please get media to play a major role in projecting the Indian military as a military yes, might. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 You know, two year forty six and ex forty. अभी आप इतने young लगते हैं तो आपको तो देख के तो फिर और क्या बोले सर हम सब तो आपको देख के तो आप बोले लगते हैं नहीं नहीं I'll I'll tell you what इस इसमें ना मैं I there was some so I had gone somewhere now all all my course mates are brigadiers and some of them have almost finishing command and this thing you know so now there are new uh, the the new batch and all the ninety five and all who become brigadiers so when they meet you they say hi sir good morning वाला किसी के सामने सर मत बोलना तुम लोग ठीक है डोंट डोंट सबको मेरी उम्र लीक हो जाएगी अदरवाइज इफ इफ यू फाइंड इफ यू फाइंड इफ यू फाइंड अ ब्रिगेडियर साहब कॉलिंग यू सर देन इट्स तो लोगों को पता यार ये तो कितना तो आई सेड डोंट टेल एनीबॉडी दिस दिस इज इज टोटली स्टेट सीक्रेट ये किसी को मत बोलना सो वी हैड अ गुड लाफ बट यू आर ऑल थैंक्स टू वन थिंग मोर व्हिच आई वांट टू बिकॉज़ डिफेंस एस्पिरेंट्स आर वाचिंग दिस आई वांटेड टू टेल देम हियर दैट इट्स डोंट इफ and i'm not saying that you're doing that main aapko nahi bol raha i'm just generally saying that uh, don't join the forge because you want a job you will always be dissatisfied don't join the forge just because you want a job or there is you think it's a government job and it's a pensionable job and don't you'll always be unhappy in the forge if you go with that attitude it's it's a life if you enjoy that kind of life uh it will take you along and uh, you'll you'll have a lot of uh, happy memories and as far as your bank balance of memories go you'll become a millionaire so you'll have wonderful memories from the forge and you can sit alone in a room and laugh and cry and smile and remember those good days and you'll have brothers for life uh in, in terms of your cosmetics and uh, but uh, don't ask yourself this question yaar uh mera dil kya kehta you know hum log kehte hain jaise ki uh, Just like you know, I I don't know whether they say it for uh, other places of worship, but they say that Vishnu Devi only goes when Bulawa comes. You know, you know Vishnu Devi says that Mata calls. Then you go when uh, Vishnu Devi calls. Ma Vishnu Devi, na when she calls, then you go. So for that Bula, it's it's the same with Forge. If you have Bulawa come, then go without Bula, don't go. It's it's a calling in your heart. If if you feel very strongly that this is a calling, and somebody. is calling out to me you know that ability uh, in otia we say serve with honor so uh uh it's it's a service uh you're not a boss everybody right from right from a lieutenant to the chief of army staff they are serving the nation it's a service so if you want to serve the country from a sense of service and if you want that kind of camaraderie and brotherhood then join the army don't join the army kyunki na uh, you know ki dekho containment kitne acche hain aur you know we'll have a party and all of course you'll have a party here but you'll also get shot at by the way you may you may get shot and there are good chances so you'll have a party it's it's a good mix and match of it's a good mix and match of uh, a good life uh, when i say a good life it's a comfortable life it's also a dangerous life uh, it's also a life full of love respect and brotherhood uh, but it's not meant for everybody it's it's not meant for everybody that's all i'm saying i'm not i'm not here to demotivate everybody give it your best shot go to ssb go for ssb wear the uniform join the forge 
बट दिल में हर समय याद रखना यार अगर बुलावा आता है तभी जाना वरना मत जाना सर कमिंग बैक टू दैट क्वेश्चन ना वो एकेडमी में कुछ तो एक पंगे तो हुआ होगा सर आपके साथ पंगे <laughs> पंगे पंगे बहुत हुए मैं बताता हूं क्या आई वाज वेरी बैड इन ड्रिल ओके सो इसेंशियली व्हाट हैपेंड वाज दैट देयर इज अ वेरी फेमस ऑफिसर यू नो कर्नल ललित राय महावीर चक्र हु यू मड यू मड हैव सीन हिज वीडियोस एंड ऑल एट दैट टाइम ही वाज मेजर ललित राय एंड ही वाज आवर एडजुटेंट ओह so he he was in charge of discipline you know the adjutant in the academy and on that day right. uh, what they what they do and also he was he was our adjutant yeah and he was a very handsome you know gurkha officer you now look like a film star and he used to come on the white horse na uh, i think even in, in in naval academy they have that yes, horse yes, and all the awesome. adjutant ad, adjutant will come on a horse and also so very smart very well spoken handsome officer and uh, from the gurkhas and he would come on the horse and also he used to take the adjutant would take the drill test अच्छा आई फेल द ड्रिल टेस्ट फाइव टाइम्स ओके तो मैं नहीं मैं मैंने चार बार फेल करा पांचवें बार ना आई आई सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वालिफाइड सो वी गॉट दी लाइन एंड ऑल एंड वी कैन गो वी कुड गो आउट टू चेन्नई एंड देन एक्सप्लोर चेन्नई ड्यूरिंग द वीकेंड्स एंड ऑल फिर एंड यू कुड सल्यूट एंड फ्यू थिंग्स आई थिंक इज द सेम एट दी ऑल्सो अरे आई एम श्योर यू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ड्रिल टेस्ट एंड ऑल दैट अच्छा वन डी एस टी सीनियर टू आई फ्लंग फोर टाइम so kya hua ki when uh, when everything happened and when uh, you know uh, they they were uh, giving uh, the arms and services no a uh, few days before pop the passing out parade you saying that so i, I was commissioned into the kumau regiment and when i came out this drill instructor you know from three kumau he was there subedar inder singh god bless his soul he's no more subedar inder singh from three kumau he was there and he says gc gc as gentleman kerala gc तो मैं कौन सा रेजिमेंट मिला तो बोला कि मैं मैंने बोला सर मैंने बोला साहब कुमार रेजिमेंट अच्छा दिस गाय बिकॉज ही हैड ट्रेन मी इन ड्रिल एंड ही न्यू हाउ लवज आई वॉज ए ड्रिल इसका ना मुंह उतर गया ये ना बिल्कुल ही फेल्ड वेरी डिप्रेस कि यार वट काइंड ऑफ अ वेरी लव इज लैंडेड अपन कुमाओ सो ही डेंट से एनी थिंग यू लुकिंग एट मी देन ही सेज अब जी सी जो हो गया सो हो गया देन ही सेज ही सेज जी सी अब ओनी को कौन टाल सकता है देखो it was like he had been in a train crash for him it was me getting commissioned to kumau was a day of extreme sadness for him because because he judged everybody through that uh, prism of drill and how well one could do drill and he he was he used to get very very upset with me ki he says jisse tumhara hath kahin jata hai tumhara pair kahin jata hai kaise officer banega indian army mein you know pareshan kar deta tha bilkul but uh, we had some very good days there and uh, the instructors i remember my instructors but most of all i remember i don't know how it is how it is uh, you know in the navy and uh, in the air force so much but in the army uh, we will forget our uh, we will forget our weapon instructors we will forget our pt instructors and we'll forget every other instructor but uh, drill instructor jo hai na drill sahab wo aap kabhi nahi bhulo ge army mein oh, you ask any general of the indian army who retired 20 years back ask any former army chief of the indian army any former army chief aap kabhi bhi miloge na during the course of your interview just ask him ke sir apne drill ustad ka naam batao he will tell you even if he trained 50 years ago he will tell you ke mere drill ustad ka naam ye tha usne bada pareshan tha they are an institution exactly and exactly. and they say wo kehte hain ki officer jo hai wo drill square pe banta hai your bearing as an officer the way you move the way you stand the way you conduct yourself the way you carry yourself that is formed on the drill square and i think nobody for i have never forgot mujhe to apne sare drill ustadon ka naam yaad hai and all of them made my life miserable because i was such a lousy gc na they said ki yaar ye isko drill karne hi nahi aati but somehow in the end it all happened and uh, the training kicked in and uh, i think i was uh, able to do a pretty okay job if not a bad job an okay job and you know sab dost hote hain wahan pe yaar so you you carry forward with everybody else and fir baat ban jati hai So how was your uh, passing out parade ka experience you know for parents also it could have been a great experience so no absolutely passing out was very good yeah it was on the 5th of march 1994 uh, oh. we passed out and uh, yeah yeah 5th of march uh, 1994 we passed out of ota and uh, parents were there and uh, relatives were there for the passing out parade and it was it was uh, uh, i mean uh, what a great day and but wo cheez hai you start 
when you are in OTA, then you don't think much of OTA. But when you pass out, then you start missing OTA. I think that's very human. So when we completed 25 years now of our uh, this thing, you know, when we completed 25 years, so we went to uh, OTA and uh, we went around OTA. So much has changed. Sab kuch badal gaya. Uh, and uh, there was uh, there was a commandant of OTA from uh, Kumau only, Kumau Regiment only, by the name of uh, Lieutenant General Bobby Matthews. Yeah. Uh, General Bobby Matthews uh, was from the Kumau Regiment. He's retired now, settled in Chennai. And he was the person instrumental in changing OTA. Uh, now, it is this very modern infrastructure, modern uh, place. Uh, the dining halls are different. And the whole look of OTA is very 21st century. It's, it's changed. Absolutely. Right. But during our time, it was, uh, I mean, instructors were fantastic and everything was great. But during our time, it was, the facilities were not so good. Uh, facilities were not so good. Uh, even even the water was like chlorine, water full of chlorine, which we found it very difficult to drink. But, uh, you know, we also have our own set of memories. Uh, General Bobby Matthews, he changed OTA for the better. And he took it leaps and bounds ahead. Not just uh, a small change, but uh, an exponential change in the way OTA sees itself today. So, yeah, it's it's great there. And uh, one more one more question here before we move to the next segment, sir. Uh, yes. You you have a very famed postmate, sir, Brigadier SS Shekhar now. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's your post, no, sir. He's your post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's my post, yeah. How was yeah. he at Academy, sir? Because he's one of the most decorated officers in the. Yeah, uh, 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 ka ye tha ki he is na he's he's from IMA. I'm from OTA. Sir, uh, we are we are ninety four batch. So I did not train with uh, uh, Brigadier Shekhawat because he he was uh, uh, at IMA. But we did our VIOs together. Yeah, VIO 75. Sure. Hum kara, so there we became friends. And uh, over the many years, we have kept in touch. And uh, uh, he is uh, he's Kirti Chakra, Shaurya Chakra, Sena Medal, VSM. He has been on Everest. Bhi hai. Oh. And uh, uh, a wonderful guy, wonderful human being. And uh, but uh, the only problem with Chakavat is that his idea is, Chal aja mere paas. we'll go for a run at four o'clock in the morning. I said, Chakavat, I don't have you go and run. <laughs> his, his, his whole idea of fun is bench press, karte hai, squats, run 15 kilometers. I said, yeah, what's wrong with you? Yeah? Let's sit down, let's have a beer, let's have some fun. That's the fun for him. I can't manage all this. So, but otherwise, he's, he's, a, he's a fantastic guy. He's a great guy. Brilliant. He's well-read. And he's articulate. And uh, he is brave. He's got four rows of ribbons when I met him last. And uh, great, great guy. Uh, Overall, very good guy. He is a role model. He's a role model. Yaar, he's, a role model. Uh, he's a role model, I think, for the entire uh, country. Uh, Brigadier Saurabh, Shik Saurabh Shikawat is a role model. He's a great guy. Yaar. Yeah, and he's a fun guy to be with. Huh? If you can run 15 kilometers at 4 o'clock, he's a fun guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a fantastic uh, rider. Yaar. He owns horses, you know. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So he belongs to this old Rajput family of Rajasthan. So. Uske farmhouse mein horses bhi hain aur he, he loves horses and uh, you know but uh, otherwise otherwise fantastic guy fantastic guy so her uh, her officers ka you know like all of us sir pehla posting is like that first girlfriend you know like no nah, we go to do so how was your posting days sir moving from academy to the posting days posting here i my first posting was 1994 yeah suratgarh uh, so I just remember that it was very hot. I was like, Chennai se garam kya ho sakta hai? <laughs> Matlab, you know, Achha, Chennai was not hot. It was more humid than hotter because correct, correct, I came, from, uh, you know, I had reached Chennai from Delhi and Delhi is hotter in terms of temperature, but Chennai makes you more miserable because of the humidity. Suddenly I reached Suratgarh and it was like sand blowing and all that. Yeah. During our time, na, abhi to they tell me that a uh, lot of greenery is there in Suratgarh and large parts of Rajasthan have changed, you know, over the years. 
but uh, during my time it was there so we spent a lot of time in mahajan field firing ranges here yeah uh-huh. wahi wahi pe wahi pe pura wo. so hamare bagal mein wohi padta tha and shri shri ganga nagar uh, was there and uh, then we used to go to mahajan field firing ranges and i i remember one incident where i was in mahajan field firing ranges and uh, you know ek ek jonga hoti thi pehle abhi to fir baad mein gypsy aa gayi na you you must have seen the jonga pehle jonga hoti thi so jonga ke upar rcl gun hoti thi wo 106 mm ki na lambi si to wo hata ke na mujhe adjutant ne bola ke okay so i had to take permission from there was an east camp or north camp or south camp or some camp i think that so do camp se permission leni thi wo grenade fire so i was there and uh, my driver was a guy called kemanand yeah my kemanand he was a driver aur main idhar bagal mein aage baitha tha peeche jc sahab baithe the and uh, the three four of us were uh, oh din mein dhoop thi but uh, i said theek and it was it was nearing the evening and you know it was it was uh, nearing the evening and uh, i said ki theek hai to hum log chalenge fir permission permission lekar aate hain then one hour and i would be in the camp and we would have the written permission and then we would start grenade firing so i was the youngster meri do dai mahine ki naukri thi mujhe wala bhag gaya se letter of permission to my guy so i us samay kya hua ki ab koi tha nahi wahan pe aur indian army ka second lieutenant to he is he is like a general usko koi puchta to hai nahi lieutenant se kya puchoge aur kya jawab dega you know he hardly knows anything to bas maine belt khol di apni i was wearing combats with uh, with uh, dms boots aur maine maine khol di belt मैंने कैप और मेरे रेवेंस थे मैंने रेवेंस लगाए अपने और ऐसे जीप में ऐसे बैठा हुआ पीछे विथ हॉट टू विंड इन माई हेयर एंड आई वॉज लाइक टोटली इंजॉइंग माई सेल्फ दैट दिस इज फ्रीडम दे इज नो सीनियर सबॉल्टन अनुज सर वॉज माई सीनियर सबॉल्टन एट दैट टाइम यूज ऑल्सो लेफ्टिनेंट यर टू स्टार्स आई वन पिडली स्टार ऑन माई शोल्डर एंड आई सेट नो सीनियर सबॉल्टन टू ट्रेवल मी नो एडजन टू ट्रेवल मी नो 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 सी ओ तो खैर सी ओ से तो मिलते ही नहीं थे हम सी ओ वॉज नॉट सीन बिकॉज यू नो वो फर्क बहुत था infantry battalions mein na ki is the commander aap to bahut change ho gaya infantry battalion during our time we never saw the co very rarely to company commander bhi pareshan nahi karega koi nahi hai bas to you are supposed to tell the driver don't drive too fast and poor kimanand he was driving at 60 km per hour standard uski jonga chal rahi thi and on that arjun path na there is the road in this thing called arjun path नेम्ड आफ्टर दी अर्जुन टैंक सो कर 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 अर्जुन पत्ते अपनी जोगा चला सकता सो आई सेट खेमानंद बस इतनी तेज चला सकते हो तुम खेमानंद को जोश आ गया खेमानंद फ्लोड इट वेंट टू नाइनटी अच्छा जोगा चल रही है ना पुरानी जोगा सत्रह कुमाऊ की खटर पटर खटर पटर इट्स गोइंग फुल स्पीड एंड आई वॉज आई हेट शट माई आईज एंड आई वॉज एंजॉइंग दैट फ्रीडम दो इट वॉज वेरी अनकंफर्टेबल वेरी हॉट बट आई वॉज एंजॉइंग माई फ्रीडम एंड देन सडनली द व्हीकल वेंट राउंड लाइक दिस ओके the vehicle went round like this and i opened my eyes and suddenly what i saw was two stars so first i thought lieutenant hai but then i said yeah stars are actually on the vehicle stars <laughs> stars stars gypsy pe hain kande pe nahi hai acha dhai mahine ki naukri do mahine ki naukri itni akal bhi nahi thi so then i realized this is a major general jiski gaadi ko humne almost thok diya tha चेंज दूर बच गया था ऑलमोस्ट हमने ठोक दिया था जन साहब की गाड़ी अच्छा सो आई सडनली आई हैड टू गेट आउट ऑफ द व्हीकल बिकॉज देर अ जनरल ऑफिसर देयर एंड आई थिंक स्टाफ ऑफिसर एडी सर समबडी वाज देयर आई डोंट नो अब मुझे बेल्ट ना मिले मेरी यार आई कुंट फाइंड द बेल्ट आई कुंट फाइंड माय कैप क्योंकि पता नहीं पीछे समहाउ आई मैनेज्ड एंड दिस थिंग एंड देन आई वेंट एंड आई आई सैल्यूटेड एंड आई सेड गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड इवनिंग सर व्हाट एवर द टाइम इट वाज हमारे टाइम पे जयंद नहीं बोलते थे उस समय जयंद आया नहीं था जयंद आर्मी में बाद में आया ड्यूरिंग आर टाइम इट वाज वॉट एवर टाइम ऑफ द डे मॉर्निंग सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड इवनिंग सर सो द जनरल लुक्स एट मी एंड ही आस्क मी डू यू नो वे यू आर आई सेट नो सर आई एम लॉस्ट ही सर लड़ी दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट चेंज इन द इंडियन आर्मी एवर सिंस आई वॉज कमीशन ऑल सेकंड लेफ्टिन साहब लड़ी लॉस्ट don't <laughs> then he started laughing <laughs> then he started laughing he says don't get yourself killed and more than that don't get your men killed understood i said yes sir he said bugger off now i saluted and I, you know these are very large hearted people at that point in time na they were very large hearted people they were a youngster a bachcha yaar isko khud hi nahi samajhe 
यू नो वेन यूर डेढ़ दो महीने की तुम्हारी नौकरी है तुम्हें खुद ही नहीं समझ है एंड दे हैड दैट लार्जनेस ऑफ हार्ट ही कुड है ऑलमोस्ट कॉजिंग एन एक्सीडेंट ही कुड है picked up the phone told my uh, commanding officer and there would have been an inquiry yeah. and if somebody wanted they could have fixed me nice and proper but wo wo bade daryadil type ke log the us time pe na they were very large hearted and and you know he said he said i said sir i'm lost he started laughing he says but in the indian army i've always in all second lieutenant left in the lost from my time everybody is lost so anyway he says don't uh, so you know uh, these are things that i i cherish a lot the seniors who were so kind that unhone dekha yaar bachcha hai jaane do yaar he is a kid forget it and you know that largeness of heart that uh, that is rare in fact uh, just uh, maybe one minute here same with me sir main jab sub lieutenant tha again ek white jonga thi navy ki and hmm. uske upar chavi dikha to as such sub lieutenant hai to lost hi hote hai like uh, like you said hmm. maine invitation samajh ke jonga leke nikal pada and full speed mein jaakar accident hua sir to so the, the commanding officer who was a major general again he came uh, the commodore he came and he saw pura gaadi ulta palta sare log jama hai adjutant ye nahi and everyone is like about to abuse me and ceo comes and say dekha aise pura upar niche the next time take a gypsy karke don't jonga purana ho gaya <laughs> so as you rightly said big hearted yeah. people sir those that yes absolutely and then uh, uski baat ka tenure sir i mean uh, you spent 6 to 7 years in forge before uh, exactly i spent exactly 5 and a half years after commissioning saale 5 saal maine extension liya tha 5 saal ke baad so at that time it was five, now it's 10 years plus 4 years during yeah. our time it was 5 5 plus 5 so i took extension and then i left uske baad i went to gurdaspur uh, gurdaspur ke baad for a very short time we went to poo and then the rest of the time we spent in jnk Probably that would have been an an experience uh, for you, like what today you are. You know, yeah, yeah, so, la, la, yeah. La, line of control was uh, it was uh, uh, sometimes it could be pretty terrifying. So uh, yeah, it it was. Otherwise, uh, I was alone pretty much. I, I was a company commander by that time. I had been made a company commander, and uh, so. But I, you know what? Overall, I think. even today a lot of what i have been able to do in my life a lot of it uh, is because of how my unit has guided me and it's i think bahut unka bahut wo hai my my course mates they were helping me in the academy they are still helping me i said you bugger are stuck with me now you can't go anywhere tumhari kismat kharab hai tum mere course mate ho tum meri madad karte rahoge zindagi bhar so and uh, even today uh, if i say something in a debate uh, which i should not say ho jata hai na moment the heat of the moment you say something sahi baat hai ho jata hai hum usse to kafi ho jata hai to to rest assured you will get a call from the unit from some very senior officer uh, kan pathak was my first ceo and uh, and uh, uh, major ds rawat now colonel ds rawat is retired now he was my first company commander kan pathak God bless his soul. He's no more. And uh, there were times when I used to get a call. You retired comfortably in Lucknow. Lucknow, Mr. Colonel Rawat, uh, Colonel Patak, and uh, Colonel Patak would say that uh, if he saw me shouting or saying something which was not appropriate, he, he he would say that son, this is not what I taught you, and this is what not what the unit taught you. Uh, you know, you would be admonished. Sen- senior officers would ad- admonish and. immediate seniors would feel free to give you a kick virtually from a great distance away unko koi farak nahi padta tum koi bhi ho but you see that realization that you carry a part of the unit with you you carry a part of the army with you and i think i've been very lucky that uh, uh, all of my senior officers in the army even even today even today uh, they still grooming they still uh, coaching they are still guiding they are still uh, showing me the right path and if i go left and right there will be somebody who will call and say gorav uh, uh, son don't do this this is not okay and people who have who are not from my regiment people who have left the army long back general officers very senior they say son uh, this is not this is not okay don't do this and uh, to yaar aise aise kaam milte hain log 
kisi ko kya farak padta hai yaar what you say on television how does it matter to somebody they don't care nobody will care but in the forge they care they forge they care because they said that you know once upon a time 22 years back you wore the uniform and for them that is enough that relationship is enough exactly so if you go wrong they will call up or fir thodi si halki si chabi de denge ki banda theek direction mein jaye chalo and they'll always end it up with come home have a drink with me you know so it's all it's all in good spirit so yeah So one one question here for the veterans, sir. Like since you are a veteran, uh, yes. A lot of people are transitioning, especially the SS officers, the, the corporate world. So how how uh, challenging or how easy is it, sir? I mean, if if any uh, light you want to throw here, because a lot of us are there, who are there. So the few of us are well settled, but many of our, uh, you know, the brother and sisters are there to move into that space. So any any See, advice, Amber. sir? Yeah, yeah. See, I'll tell you what. Uh, advice for them is that they are, uh, you know, it's all a mindset issue here. The whole issue is mindset. It's civil, na. Jo bhi issue mindset ka hai. Like forge is a mindset issue. Even uh, the civil life, civil street is a mindset issue here. And the sooner you change your mind, the easier it is for you to, uh, you know, gel with other people. Because I think that is very important. We we tend to stick out because you see, forge ne na ham sabki aadat ne kharaab kar di hai. माय यूनिट तो टोटली स्पॉइल्ड नहीं हम तो खुले सांड की तरह यूनिट में घूमते थे माय यूनिट टोटली स्पॉइल्ड यू आर यूज्ड टू अ सर्टेन क्वालिटी इन एवरीथिंग यू सी यू आर यूज्ड टू अ सर्टेन स्टैंडर्ड इन एवरीथिंग यू नो एवरीथिंग दैट इज डन इन द फौज आर्मी नेवी एयर फोर्स इज डन एट अ सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ एक्सीलेंस एंड दैट एक्सीलेंस इज नॉट जस्ट इन वॉर इट्स आल्सो इन पीस या Even even the trees are uh, very planted in one straight line. It's for me. So when you get used to that sort of, even for a small period of time, like five and a half years for me, and before that OTA, but five and a half years of actual service. So that spoils you. When I say spoil, I mean it in a positive sense. You become used to a certain kind of excellence, and when you don't get that sort of excellence outside, you start questioning, "Kya? Ye kya? Ye? Aise kyon kam kar rahe hain? Aise kya?" But there is a lot of excellence in the corporate sector. it's a different kind of excellence so that transitioning from this kind of excellence to that kind of there are some of the best brains in the corporate sector some of the best people are there the top people who are running global uh, companies fortune 500 companies are there they're among the finest brains in this world exceptionally sharp people and they have a different kind of excellence so from one kind of excellence to the other kind of excellence that is one thing secondly i think i think that uh, more should be done for ss officers yeah मोर शुड बी डन एक्चुअली क्या है ना कि दस साल के बाद चार साल वो आफ्टर फोर्टीन ईयर्स वेन ही कम्स आउट यू नो हीज प्रॉब्लली मैरिड हीज गॉट अ कपल ऑफ किड्स एंड वॉट हैव यू ट्रेन दम फॉर यर यू नो समबडी इज डन मिसाइल समबडी इज डन रडार समबडी इज डन यू नो एक्सप्लोजिव समबडी इज फ्रॉम द कोर ऑफ इंजीनियर समबडी फ्रॉम इन्फेंट्री समबडी वॉज इन राष्ट्र राइफल्स He was killing terrorists in the Kashmir Valley. Somebody was in Sachin Glacier. Suddenly, you put him in a corporate uh, setting. Now, this man is—it's so. There are two, three things which I'd like to, uh, with your permission, like to mention. One, though, na we must understand that uh, post-traumatic stress is real here. And I would request uh, through this channel, the Ministry of Defence and even the Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force, post-traumatic stress is real here, and I don't think we pay much attention to it. Ye. Uh, PTSD, na it's it's real there, it's very real. Uh, I I have friends in the army who who have sleep disorders because the kind of violence that they have seen, it's very difficult for a civilian to imagine that level of bloodshed, that level of violence when you are operating. So I was very lucky. I have not seen anything. I saw very little. I saw very little. But there are some people who have seen a lot, and it happens in all armies everywhere. That that is number one. Army, Navy, Air Force, Joby, Kello. Uh, secondly, you know, uh, I think SS officers they should reduce this ten years there. This is too much, and fourteen years. This is too much. After that, it becomes very unless somebody is from a sound family background, you know, he has something to fall back to. It becomes very difficult because what are your skills in the corporate sector? And this six month course that they make the forgies do in various IIMs, you know, this this. course doesn't have much value actually to be very honest i don't mean to belittle anybody but what they should do is dekho do teen cheeze karni hai main jo manta hu had i been in any position of authority i would have uh, done this number 
when a person leaves the army navy and air force let's say after 6 7 years for 6 months he should be put in a special course run by civilians but that person should be in army service at that point in time when he's doing it and the basics of civil life the basics of civil life the basics of usko usko ye batana padega ki ab भाई तेरे हाथ में एके फोर्टी सेवन नहीं है दिस इज एन एक्सेल शीट बिकॉज दिस गाय वॉज हंटिंग लश्कर टेररिस्ट इन कश्मीर वैली है और सम गाय वॉज रनिंग पेट्रोल ऑफ द कोस्ट ऑफ मेडागास्कर अब उसका तो दिमाग तो मेडागास्कर में ही है ना या उसका तो दिमाग कहीं और ही है या उसका एयरफोर्स का है फ्लाइंग सम प्लेस फ्लाइंग फाइटर जेट्स और हेलीकॉप्टर एंड डूइंग मिशन हेर एंड देर ही इज इन अ डिफरेंट मोड so i think you need a cooling down period of 3 months to 6 months where uh, basic skills like uh, and all forgies know to some degree but basic skills corporate skills should be there after that after that they should put them through the iams for one year executive program aap directly dal doge one year executive program wo kabhi nahi kar payega teacher because he does not understand he is coming from a different thing na he might be very intelligent but Uh, ask him what is he doing we said sir i i i you know i'm i'm i know how to shoot missiles now i am amdabad does not want you to shoot missiles there they, they want you to shoot something else so uh, the thing is that ye karne ke baad then you send him for a uh, one year fully paid course right and you give him a decent lump sum amount you know so he he's come, then after that he can take care of himself that is the price if you want to get down pensions right? this is the price that the government must be willing to pay because there is no fauji okay there is no fauji who's not had adjustment problems after coming out of fauji because fauji mm-hmm. army navy and air force they 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 they'll, they'll spoil you here they'll spoil you aapko ek wo aapke bacche kahan pe hai raat ke 9 baje if you're inside the cantonment or inside a military station you don't care aapko pata hai bacche safe and sound wapas aa jayenge 10 baje they must be somewhere in somebody's house right mm-hmm. सिविल सिविल में माँ बाप का गला सूख जाएगा सूरज ढलने के बाद बच्चे कहा बच्चे कहा ढूंढने निकल जाएंगे गाड़ी लेके सो यू टेक सो मच ऑफ ग्रांटेड ना फॉर फॉर ग्रांटेड इन द फॉर्ज दैट्स नॉट अवेलेबल आउटसाइड सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स मस्ट बी कंसीडर्ड विथ योर परमिशन सर समर Uh, when you said about PTSD, summer was in an area जो उसमें सिर्फ मौत ही मौत देखी है सर आज तक एंड देन वेन ही कम्स आउट आई नो हाउ टफ लाइफ इज सो वॉट एवर यू सेड इट एक्ट वेल Uh, with one of those examples i know is about summer uh, i'm sure i'm sure summer uh, say so, say yana yes sir yes sir it is true but, but like uh, an officer would definitely not want to talk much about it sir because it leaves more of the scarring than glorification sir hmm. so uh, death is not glorious sir trust me even if you kill the enemy uh, i'm sure even the enemy's family children everyone's doing their duty and uh, representatives of their countries defending their lands but uh, definitely when somebody dies it does take away some peace of mind of yours whether you kill the enemy or our own colleague uh, is uh, martyred it does take away a part of your soul and your mental peace for a lifetime and uh, i do admit sir i do have uh, sleep disorders i do get up at times at night and uh, I do feel anxiety. Many times, looking at the environment around, I have to adjust in civil life because I was never used to such a calm and peaceful environment. I was, I have, I uh, mean, I have been baptized in violence and death and gore, and I have seen probably doctors have seen so many internal body parts. I have seen in South Sudan, and then in J and K, we did operations. I was with uh, four paras. I am though I am from infantry, I am from eight rajrif. but we were co-located with 4 and 9 so did our operations with 4 so uh, we usually tend to keep quiet so that probably keeps us little more composed and calm sir rather than discussing about it probably india mein culture abhi aaya nahi hai for discussing ptsd so probably i am used to that culture and nature right now that the prevailing practices ki discuss mat karo shant ro do my troops used to come to me एक ने तो वाघ मारे करके है सर ही केम टू मी ही वेंट लिटल आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल सो ही सो लॉट ऑफ डेथ एंड गोर अलॉन्ग विद मीन साउथ सुडान एंड ही सेट साहब मेरे से 
कोप अप नहीं हो पा रहा मैंने क्या हो गया कहते साहब अगर मैं दारू पीऊ उसे भूलने के लिए तो आई एम बिकमिंग डिपेंडेंट ऑन एल्कोहल इट इज नॉट हेल्पिंग मी फगेट इट इज हेल्पिंग मी रिमेंबर इट इवन फर्दर एंड एज इट इज दारू पीने से सर नींद आती है पर उसका कोई मतलब नहीं बिकॉज द थॉट विद इन द स्लीप आर रेलिवेंट टू द वायलेंस दैट एव सीन सो वॉट डू आई डू आई हैव नो एस्केप एंड सर ही वॉज वेरी स्लीप डिप्राइव मेंटली ही वॉज वेरी कंफ्यूज ड्यूरिंग डे and uh, he was in a very bad state sir then ultimately i went to the co i requested him ma'am sir he was with me in operations he is a reliable guy but sir i think uh, a time comes when a soldier does need to give away his weapon and uh, we need to help him so then co agreed though co was not in favor sir kyunki form 10 bharna is a very big deal in the army it is not yes. a it's not a normal issue it's a very big thing uh, yes sir as on date any troop going through a psychological problem will still shy away from disclosing it because it's they feel it's like a stigma ya uh, they feel ki other troops uh, peer pressure mein bolenge he's mentally weak he's given up and so many things but actually it is not sir it is because he's gone through that violence he's gone through that extremity in life that his mind is now stuck at a particular junction where with a medical help we need to make him move ahead of that so then eventually so after i convince you he said theek hai yaar i will fill in form 10 though he was a very good marksman sir like if i had to go to war i would have definitely taken bag mare ki he will be with me but i don't know so that times you know every soul is different every mindset and psychology of every individual is different so when it gives way nobody can tell until unless the time arrives so that is how things unfold sir no nee, bilkul uh, i i agree with you and uh, thank you for sharing this uh, you know uh, i'll also uh, this thing here uh, tell you one small case that happened in that happened in uh, gurdaspur where i was and it was a peace station here to hum log wahan pe the aur uh, firing range thodi dur tha so what we had to do was we were setting up a demo a demonstration where where the commander would come or the goc would come and uh, i was there and uh, uh, major rawat now colonel retired my my company commander तो हम लोग अल्फा कंपनी में थे यार सो so, uh, बात गुरदासपुर की है एंड एंड 1995 सो वी वर सेटिंग एवरीथिंग अप एंड ऑल एंड सेड कि इट वाज अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड दे कि ठीक है ट्रूप्स वर देयर सडनली देर वाज अ बिग बैंग एंड मैसिव एक्सप्लोजन सडनली ऑल ऑफ सडन एंड हुआ क्या हुआ क्या देन वी फिगर आउट दैट यू नो डेटोनेटर होते हैं पी के अंदर प्लास्टिक एक्सप्लोजर होता है सो so, उसमें एक सत्ताईस नंबर का होता है जो कि आग से जलता है और एक तैतीस नंबर का होता है आई थिंक 33 और समथिंग लाइक दैट व्हिच इज इलेक्ट्रिकली फायर्ड सो उसने उसने क्या करा कि ऐसे ही होता है ना इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेकन आई एम समथिंग लाइक दैट या सो व्हाट ही डिड वाज उसमें पी 33 हां 33 होता है ना yeah. 33 इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर और जो आप बोल रहे हो दैट इज वेरी वल्नरेबल 27 वाला इज वल्नरेबल वो हाथ में पकड़ लो तो इट ब्लोस ऑफ हां हां तो उसकी उसकी वो कुछ क्रिम्पिंग क्रिम्पिंग करनी थी उसने वो उसके पैंतीस ही था उसके हाथ में थर्टी थ्री सो ही पुट ये मेरे आंख की बात है मेरे आंख के सामने की ही पुट इट एंड दी अदर गाय ओवर द ड्यून ना एक उन्होंने बनाया था वहां पे डीसीबी कॉन्सेप्ट है डिच कम बंद कॉन्सेप्ट सो दे हैड क्रिएटेड ए डीसीबी जस्ट टू टेल पीपल दैट यू नो बिकॉज वी वर इन डीसीबी ऑपरेशन एन ऑल दैट वो पूरा इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर डीसीबी ऑपरेशन इन पंजाब सो सडनली फोन दैट फाइव ब्रावो अभी तो होता नहीं हमारे टाइम पे बहुत पहले होता था उसको घुमाते थे वैसे गोल तो इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज उठ गो एंड दैट इज हाउ यूज टू फॉर डेमोस्ट्रेशन यूज टू सेट ऑफ सो वन गाय डिड नॉट नो ही वॉज सेटिंग इट अप हियर एंड आई एम टॉकमेंट माई यूनिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आई एम विटनेस दिस एक्सीडेंट हैपन दैट अदर गाय ही कुड नॉट सी हिम बिकॉज वो ड्यून के इस तरफ था वो डिच कम बंद के इस तरफ था वो उस तरफ था उसने जब वो लगाया एक्सप्लोजिव में उसके पेट के पास we picked up his body parts here and i was shocked and i was shocked then bas mere samne his body parts fell and uh, i i didn't know what to do and i was shocked and suddenly then major rawat now colonel major rawat he was my company commander so he says gorav gorav i i was not reacting i was not reacting I, i was just quiet and i didn't know what to do bolna kya hai mujhe mujhe nahi pata kya karna hai i was just shell shocked because bagal mein pee ke phata hai na plastic ke bagal mein aapke phata hai wo ye to tha dune ये सॉरी डिच कम बन ये सामने मैं इधर था एंड देर सडनली ह्यूज दिस थिंग ऑफ सैंड एंड मड एंड एवरीथिंग फ्लाइंग 
and then uh, i was wearing combat dress and uh, major rawat at that time was wearing combat dress and then suddenly he says he hit me here on the shoulder he says karo wake up what is so suddenly it occurred to me that kuch hua then we went and all of us we picked up those you see those body parts and the somehow sent it home for cremation and also yeah when we listen to these stories na and this when it happens in front of you when this happens in front of you it then you realize that human life it's so temporary yaar kuch nahi pata kaun kab chala jayega kuch nahi pata kab kya ho jayega and so yeah so we we and of course the line of control baby yaar kuch nahi pata kab chal rahi hai to goliyan chal rahi hai kuch pata nahi hai and i agree with uh, major tour yaar he is also ab jisne dekha hai na to uske dimag pe to impact padta when you see that level of violence it changes your it bends your mind a little and then people think you are not normal because experiences make you right Right. experiences make you and experiences there are some experiences which shatter your mind because you're not used to seeing that level of gore and violence in your life and suddenly it comes you say ye kya ho gaya thank you thank you sir for the perspective sir uh, last couple of questions i know you are very busy as i'm so sorry yes yes yeah. no, not at all not at all uh, please tell me please so so when you were transitioning from corporate you had been into corporate at various positions so chanakya forum uh, was it uh, already in your mind ki main aage jaake kuch aise karunga ya you know like a tutorial or no. something like that no 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 chanakya 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 forum happened when uh, you know it happened during uh, <clears throat> galwan when the chinese army was at a line of control and uh, i felt very bad and i don't want to say this but since you've asked the question there were few of our own brothers our own brothers who were writing articles for uh, foreign publications and saying ke ladakh hath se nikal gaya 1500 km 1200 km zameen nikal gayi and my unit was there here i am from 17 gumao my 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 unit gave an excellent account of its, at itself at tangse that tangso lake na that area of tangso lake that was my unit there only wo mere meri paltan thi to wahan pe now it's moved to a peace location but uh, I said, "Yar, ये तो गलत है ना. You should not uh, this thing, yar. You should not uh, if if you have uh, uh, this thing, you know, if you have the reach, if you have the reach, if you have that power that you can reach to millions of people by your pen, you know, and and this was this was not true. Also, uh, the Indian troops are standing and the Chinese are standing, right? Uh, but uh, this happened. So that is why Chanakya Forum." took birth it took birth simply because i felt that there is a moral responsibility to tell the truth about india you you cannot say you cannot say stuff like that yaar there are red lines so we are very critical about xyz in chanakya forum but uh, there is a red line in in chanakya forum yaar and forge is the red line yaar you 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 cannot speak about the forge yaar oh freedom of expression gaya tel na koi fark nahi padta yaar you i am in the media i am in journalism whether it is here in janakya forum whether it is republic tv and this thing no yaar uh, and even in republic tv with arnab also uh, whatever be his beliefs political otherwise he is hardcore behind the army matlab that that is the red line the armed forces are the red line uh, so i am talking about arnab goswami Yeah. for him that that red line is the armed forces and nothing he will ever ever say in his life will go against the armed forces in any manner and neither will i ever do it and he's from a fauji family and i am i'm i'm here as a former fauji kuch ye to ye red line hame respect karni padegi yaar today if two people or three people recognize major goravari and people say ki ha sir humne aapko tv pe dekha hua hai it is because i won the uniform it is because they recognize me by my rank which was given by the army अदरवाइज यार हमारी क्या वैल्यू है अगर नाम के आगे से रैंक हटा दो हमें कोई अलम बोझा भाई साहब टाइम क्या हो रहा है टाइम नहीं बताएगा आपको विल नॉट वेरी टेल यू द टाइम टुडे पीपल गिव रिस्पेक्ट इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द आर्मी यार एंड वी मस्ट रिस्पेक्ट दैट रिस्पेक्ट दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट इज गिवन अस आवर आइडेंटिटी वन वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्रोबेबली सर यस लाइक 2016 17 जब ऑल ऑफ अस इंक्लूडिंग मी सर देयर वाज दिस वन लेटर टू ओपन लेटर टू गोवा that yeah. is when lot of us came to know about you sir so what thought process kya tha sir before you actually wrote it on facebook and the next day it was everywhere everywhere 
Life changed totally after that letter. Actually, uh, there were some panelists on television, on a national television channel, who were comparing uh, Burhan Wani to Shahid Bhagat Singh, which I found personally very humiliating and insulting. You know, it's uh, you can't you can't do that. You know, you can't. Uh, it's like somebody saying something against your parents, and uh, you know, because Shahid Bhagat Singh is he's there, yeah. And where is Burhan Wani? Who's who, who the bloody hell is Burhan Wani, yeah? He hack on you. उसको तो 19 आरआर ने ठोक दिया पकड़ के या ही वाज तो उसको तो आई फेल्ट दैट आई वाज वर्किंग फॉर अ कंपनी एंड आई आई फेल्ट दैट आई मस्ट राइट सो आई आई डिड नो बिकॉज़ मैं आई नेवर सीन अ टीवी स्टूडियो इन माय लाइफ सो आई आई जस्ट रोड दिस एंड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग आई स्टार्टेड गेटिंग कॉल्स फ्रॉम टीवी स्टूडियोस कि आ जाओ आ जाओ व्हाट इज योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड एंड दे आस्क मी दीस क्वेश्चंस कि क्यों मारा उसको तो आई गिव देम सिंपल आंसर्स एंड दे वर वेरी शॉक्ड बिकॉज़ perhaps nobody had given them such simple answer because i was a company commander i was a very junior officer in the army when i left to mujhe strategy ke bare mein to knowledge nahi tha kuch aaj bhi nahi hai mujhe mujhe i don't know about ki top level pe kya hota hai and how planning i i don't know uh, about all these things and i didn't know about all these things in 2016 they said ki buran ko kyon mara i said that is what the indian army does you know they kill the enemies of the state agar tum desh ke dushman ko tumhe maar dalenge aur fauj kya karti hai matlab because that was my understanding in my limited understanding of the army and uh, i'm i was not stating any fauji policy but i was just saying that because that was my understanding that if you pick up a weapon against india somebody will kill you yeah. uh, and that's it and i i mean uh, whether it's a naval officer or air force officer you do the same yeah. in the that blink that of an eye bl- blink of an eye you 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 pick up weapons against india you're dead here to wahan se safar shuru ho gaya and then uh, how how difficult or easy is it to cope up sir because when you are on social media ye bahut sare hate mails bhi aate honge na that it's not about uh-huh. me वो कर देंगे ठीक है जिस दिन होगा होगा यार वी ऑल कम इन दिस वर्ल्ड फॉर अमिटेड टाइम है ना वी कम फॉर अ लिमिटेड टाइम एंड ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू गो वन डे यार हम सबको जाना है इस दुनिया से तो ठीक है इट्स हाउ यू गो दैट मैटर्स ना जातू तो सभी हैं सो ठीक है जिस दिन होगा नंबर आएगा उस दिन चले जाएंगे लाइन तोड़ कर देंगे हम जो फौज में कहता है ना लाइन तोड़ कर देंगे लाइन तोड़ का नहीं कहता तो सो वन लास्ट आई मीन इफ यू वांट टू से एनीथिंग सर इट एडवाइस डिफेंस एस्पिरेंट्स वेटरन्स एंड दी एंड ऑल दोस हु लव यू सर आपके जो फैन है अक्रॉस नहीं यार मेरे तो कोई फैन वन नहीं है जब ये मुझे समझ में नहीं आता वर्ड फैन बट एनीबडी हु वांट्स टू दिस थिंग यार ये तो दिस होल थिंग विद फौज ना इफ यू आर अ डिफेंस एस्पिरेंट दिस लाइक अ लव अफेयर यार छोड़ना मत ठीक है ना कीप परस्यूइंग कीप परस्यूइंग मे बी लेडी लक्ष्मण से यस यू नेवर नो ऊपर क्या लिखा है इधर किस्मत में क्या लिखा है किसी को नहीं पता बट डोंट गिव अप छोड़ना मत यार इसको और लगे रहना ठीक है ये भी एक मेमोरी है ये भी एक यू नो दिस इज पैशन है ये प्यार है मोहब्बत है इश्क है फौज के साथ और लगे रहो हो जाएगा अच्छा गॉड विलिंग सबका होगा यार सर वन वन मोर रिक्वेस्ट सर एक तो सर मैं रिसर्च कर रहा था तो पता चला कि सेंट स्टीफेंस पे आप म्यूजिक सोसाइटी से भी जुड़े हुए थे और मैंने आपके वैभव सिंह सर के साथ भी बहुत सारे वीडियोस देखे गाने के साथ तो वो सर गाना सर, <laughs> सर, सर वो तो ये, <laughs> ये सब ये ना ये वैब, मैं बता रहा हूँ वैभव करवाता रहता है मुझसे ये गाना गाओ ये सब करो पता नहीं क्या क्या तो उसके उसके शौक है यस आई आई वाज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द म्यूजिक सोसाइटी ऑफ सेंट स्टीफेंस कॉलेज बट दैट वाज बिकॉज़ नोबडी एल्स वांटेड द जॉब यार ऐसा नहीं कि मैं कोई एक्सेप्शनल सिंगर था और किसी को बनने का शौक ही नहीं था बोला किसी ने किसी को बनना इसी को बना दो सो आई गॉट लकी आई गेस दैट वाज इन 1992 या 91 92 आई वाज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द म्यूजिक सोसाइटी ऑफ ऑफ सेंट स्टीफेंस कॉलेज एंड सेक्रेटरी था फिर प्रेसिडेंट था तो ठीक है यार बढ़िया था इट वाज सो दोस आर Days gone by, a million years ago. Jurassic Age. Sir, अभी आपका favorite singer कौन है इस time? मैं कौन हूँ मैं तो भी यार मैं singer नहीं. I only shout at nine o'clock. यार अब तो क्या singer है मेरे सब छोटे क्या? अब तो मैं सिर्फ चीखता चल लाता हूँ T V पे ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं. But yeah, I I I love uh, I love uh, old Hindi film music. Yeah, that is very close to my heart. Old Hindi film music and uh, अभी अभी तो मैं ज़्यादा लोगों का सुनता नहीं हूँ. But I think in 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 film music I think uh, अगर सिंगर के नाम पे बताएं तो सोनू निगम है सिंगर जो सिंगर का सिंगर है 
इफ यू इफ यू से दैट ही इज मेल सिंगर सिंगर है जो बट बाकी ठीक है बाकी भी अच्छा गाते हैं नो डाउट बट इफ यू हैव टू सिंग अलाउट वन दैट्स इट गुड मॉर्निंग सर सो नॉट अ क्वेश्चन सर नॉट अ क्वेश्चन सर बट आई वुड रियली थैंक फॉर योर शो कॉल्ड पेट्रियट so uh, that that show uh, rather than motivation it was kind of uh, taking notes for me during my preparation like i played myself in my 11th attempt so especially the okay. show uh, which was for wow. the post guard so yes. that 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 uh, show was somewhere like uh, giving me a lot of inputs when i went for my interview and i, I i'm sure many of our aspirants who are who are here the, that show really gave us a lot of inputs when we went to ssb we had a lot of things to say when they asked what do you know what indian coast guard so that show really helped me to make notes and also answered in my indian coast guard interviews so thank you for such show and also your uh, no. uh, content thanks thank thanks akshay sir uh, sir thank akshay you. had helped uh, almost 70 80 cadets uh, students aspirants to join the armed forces with various wow forces. excellent excellent yeah. wow yeah. brilliant thank you so much Thank you so much, sir, for your time. You uh, it's a privilege, sir. Uh, all no, of thank us, you, sir. privilege. All of us are thank a big fan thank of you, and uh, no, no, keep rocking. Thank sir. you, keep rocking. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, thank you, Jain. Thank Jain you so sir. much, sir. Jain, sir. Jain, sir. Thank you, Jain, sir. Jain, sir. Jain, sir. Jain, sir.